Hey, it's Casey. I am excited to share with you what is the best diet to pair with a fasting lifestyle. Um, a lot of people ask me this and so many people expect me to say, oh, maybe a plant-based diet or maybe this diet or that diet. In reality, the best diet is the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is a low carb, high fat and moderate protein diet that is free from all sugars, grains and processed flours. So I will say this, being that we live in a capitalistic country, it has become this fad in the last two years for all kinds of people to try to make money off of this trend. When in reality, the ketogenic diet was developed well over a hundred years ago um, as a means to cure and help epilepsy along with diabetes and other diseases. So let me first say this, you do not need any special supplement or brand of anything to get yourself started on the ketogenic diet. You simply need to start eating clean, whole foods that are not processed. And if you are eating something that's processed and it comes out of a bag, a can, whatever, you need to look at the label and very much limit what you're eating. You want to have nothing that contains um, carbohydrates in the form of sugars. So complex carbs such as fruits and vegetables, and only certain fruits and vegetables are part of the ketogenic diet. So check that out. Um, what is ketosis? A lot of people say, well, ketogenic, what does that mean? So our body only has two fuel sources. It either chooses to run off of carbohydrates or fats. So when it's running off of carbohydrates, carbohydrates are worth four grams per carbohydrate, whereas a fat is worth nine grams. Our bodies prefer to run off of carbohydrates because it's simply easier. Yet at the same time, our brain is made up of 70% fats. So if we starve our body of fats because of this trend of low fat and fat free, we are in a sense um, setting ourselves up for Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and all of these other um, neuro neurological um, disorders. So it's a very dangerous thing and fat is very important for our bodies. And let me say this, fat does not make you fat. And I am living proof of this. Um, so simply begin a ketogenic diet, but let me also say you do not want to just eat keto foods day and night. You need to eat them in a window and the shortest window possible. If you are trying to lose weight and you have excess weight, you need to fast as long as physically possible. And this for some people, you can go three days, other people seven, some people can go for an entire month. Um, it'll depend on what you can handle. Make sure that during your fast, you're drinking snake juice and you can check out my other um, YouTube on snake juice and how to make it and how to consume it. Um, but aside from that, you want to make sure that if you are of healthy body weight, that you're fasting every day. So even children, my own children fast every single day and they eat in, intermitt in an intermittent fasting way. So they eat in a six hour window. Um, so for instance, they break their fast around noon and they stop eating at 6 p.m. So it stays within six hours. Um, for another person like myself who is an athlete, um, who also, is, I'm trying to gain muscle and continue to keep my health, um, I eat one meal a day. And so my, my window of time is really one hour of eating. So I eat my ketogenic meal in one hour in the evening. So um, you need to figure out for you what your approach is, whether it's weight loss, health, or you're just of healthy weight and you're wanting to reap the benefits of fasting, but make sure that you're adding a ketogenic diet to that. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Snake Diet Casey, and check out my Facebook page. Thanks.